Hey guys, Fire here from In-Depth Gaming, bringing you another game review. This time we're checking out Treasure Hunter Simulator. This game is developed by Drago Entertainment, published by MD Games, and released on July 2nd, 2021, for a price of $9.99. At the time of recording this review, the game is on sale, so you can save about $2. So, what's Treasure Hunting Simulator? It's exactly what it sounds like. You get to uh, wield a metal detector, go around some pretty neat historic sites, and try to find some cool and interesting treasure. The way the game works is you're going to be emailed jobs and tasks that you'll then get to go around and do, whether it's looking for neat rare collectible items, taking photographs, or just trying to explore the maps and areas, and you're going to get to use a wide variety of metal detectors. As you can see here in the footage, it's a little early in the game, but there's two different types of metal detectors, analog and digital. We'll be showing off the analog metal detector we have equipped in the game for this gameplay, as well as tons of different things that you're going to be able to collect and sell to then eventually buy those metal detectors. To advance in the game, you need to complete your jobs, and the way you can do your jobs is you can pick any of the destinations. One thing that's cool is the game does help track things while you're playing, so you can see the little completed um, stats below on each map on the bottom right of the screen. Let's go ahead and dive into Gettysburg here, or actually, let's do a different one, because if you did check out the early gameplay previews, you see Gettysburg. We'll go into the Slovakian Valley, and we'll travel here. Now, some of the areas will actually cost you money every time you travel to them, so you'll have to actually build up a little bit of a financial inventory. When you're playing in the game, you're going to be able to open up this neat little tablet. It gives you a kind of a walk around map. One thing that I think is really cool is if you can see here, I'm going to actually run around a little bit just to generate a little bit of foot traffic in the game. But every single time you run around in the game, it's actually going to record your information on your little tablet. And you can see it might be a little hard to see, but maybe as we further into the gameplay, you'll see appear where our arrow is in that top right corner and it's going to actually help us know that we've gotten close to something now when you want to know what jobs you have for a specific area that you're playing you can simply open your tablet and for example currently we define the ulf birth sword and that's actually going to give us an additional uh, job we can complete prestige and money the best way to find this stuff is you literally have to walk around and explore everywhere in the map now you're going to get kind of a little notification icon on the bottom right as well as a little in-game noise when you're close to an item. I recommend if you are playing the game you can hold the right bumper and run around. Um, it kind of makes your movement just a lot easier as well as you will get kind of notified when you're close to an item that you do need to uh, dig up. So there's nothing really too challenging in that sense. You don't have to really wonder what's going on and you know worry about missing anything. Um, a lot of the maps are pretty diverse. I honestly really like the initial starting map the game gives you with Gettysburg. You can learn a lot of cool, neat, interesting facts while you're playing, as well as dig up and look for some pretty interesting and neat things while you're playing around. I love the diversity that the game does offer with all the different, you know, locations you can play in, as well as being able to just upgrade and find some really cool stuff. Visually, the game does a great job with the kind of items that it presents that you can dig up, so it is kind of cool to, uh, really just look around and just explore the area and kind of see the neat things that realistically can be around the map. If you see on that bottom right hand corner of the screen, once you get that little uh, metal detector icon, you can actually pull out your metal detector and then you'll kind of just walk around until you hopefully get closer to the item you're looking for. What's cool is the little icon will actually kind of fill up a little yellowish bar letting you know when you find your item and then your metal detector will highlight yellow and you know something. Um, just simply I'll hit a little dig animation. Overall, the controls for this game are extremely, extremely simple and easy to, you know, kind of interact with the game. Some of the things about the game that I maybe would uh, change up a little bit is it is a little common to find some very repetitive items. I get that as a very realistic thing, but the little identity and identify, you know, features in the game, it seems a little kind of pointless and I don't really know if it's necessarily needed in the game. Is from my experience, it's kind of a little boring and lack lackluster and doesn't really add much value to the game. Now, if I had maybe a mini game style system where I actually was like cleaning the items as I found them or maybe went back home to identify them, that would maybe be a cool little aspect, but it doesn't take too much away from the game. It's just, you know, probably my least favorite portion about the game. Um, sometimes you're going to run into items that, you know, you're really going to have to scavenge around and find the exact location you're looking for. You can almost feel some things off of the vibrations of your controller to help identify where things are. 
So it is definitely a fun and interesting aspect of the game, as well as you can always simply just pick up and play and come back at any time you want. You don't really have to repay for your jobs. The only thing you really have to do is um, look around and try to re, you know, in those items that you missed, or necessarily you might have to pay additionally to um, locate certain things in the game. Now that we have found our items here, what we'll simply do here is we can just return back to the office, see left item, and then go to our brand new destination. What's cool too is when you go back to the office, you can kind of check out some of the items that you have found in the past that are hanging up on shelves. This gun's actually one of the first legendary items you're going to find. There's going to be quite a bit of legendary things you can uh, search for in the game, and it's pretty neat to just kind of see what all the game has to offer while you're trying to fill out your little showcase of, you know, really everything that there is. Um, like I said, when we were calling it earlier, you can go around and sell all the items. The game won't allow you to sell any of your legendary items, but you can build up a nice little bankroll, and then you just take that money to constantly equip and get better, meta better metal detectors and set you up for success. Outside of that, that's, that's pretty much it. Treasure Hunter Simulator. It's not too link to the game, but it's actually pretty accurately well done and really helps you really get that little thing being a treasure hunter if you wanted to, you know, do that on your own and maybe you're not near any beaches or areas like that where you can kind of go and explore, you know, the same way that everybody else might. Overall, though, if you guys do enjoy this review, we'd appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Questions or want to see more gameplay, let us know down in the comments. I'm Fire, I hope you have a great day, and we'll catch you next time.